So for so this video, I'll show you on how to solve three equations in three variables using substitution method. So, meron tayo dito ng given 3x plus 2y plus z equals 2, 4x plus 2y plus 2z equals 8, x minus y plus z equals 4. So, ang unang gagawin natin, pipili tayo ng isang equation from the given, then we will solve for one variable. So, pipili ako, pipiliin ko yung third equation natin, then I'll solve for x. So, kopihin muna natin, x minus y plus z equals 4. Then, we will transpose to the right side on our equation yung negative y plus z natin. So, leaving us with x equals from negative y to positive y, from negative z to positive z rather, to negative z, then copy constant term which is 4. Then, next step would be we will substitute the value of x to the remaining equation which is 1 and 2 so label mo lang muna natin yung equation natin as equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 so copy equation 1 3x plus 2y plus z equals 2 3 then substitute this to x on our first equation y minus z plus 4 copy 2y plus z equals 2 then simplify 3 times y is equal to 3y 3 times negative c is equal to negative 3z. 3 times 4 is equal to positive 12. Copy 2y plus z equals 2. Then combine like terms. 2y plus 3y plus 2y is equal to 5y. Negative 3z plus z equals negative 2z. Copy the constant term, which is positive 12, equals 2. Then, we will add both sides by the inverse of our constant term, positive 12. So, its inverse is negative 12. Bring down 5y minus 2z. Positive 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. 2 minus 12 equals negative 10. 5y minus 2z equals negative 10. Then, we will label this as our fourth equation. Next naman is, kopyahin natin yung second equation. 4x plus 2y plus 2c equals 8 substitute y minus z plus 4 to our x on our second equation y minus z plus 4 copy 2y plus 2z equals 8 then simplify or just simply distribute 4 to all term inside ng parenthesis natin. 4 times y equals 4y. 4 times negative c equals negative 4z. 4 times 4 equals positive 16. Copy 2y plus 2z equals 8. Then combine like terms. 4y plus 2y equals 6y. Negative 4c minus plus 2z equals negative 2z. Copy the constant term which is 16. Equals 8. Then, we will add both sides by the inverse of 
positive 16, which is negative 16, magiging negative 16 na siya. Bring down 6y minus 2z. Cancel natin to, kasi 16 minus 16 equals 0. 8 minus 16 equals negative 8. So, 6y minus 2z equals negative 8 would be our fifth equation. So, next, um, kukupiyahin natin yung equation 4 and equation 5 natin. 5y minus 2z It negative 10 rather negative 10 for our fifth equation 6y minus 2z tama, equals negative 8 then pipili tayo ng isang equation then we will solve for one variable so pipiliin ko dito yung fourth equation natin which is 5y minus 2z equals negative 10 then I'll solve for negative 2z so ang gagawin ko I will add both side by the inverse of 5y which is well, uh, which is negative 5y so 5y cancel natin to bring down 2z negative 5y minus 10 then we will uh, divide both side by negative 2 yes then cancel this one leaving us with z equals um, ok we will cancel the similar sign leaving us with 5y over 2 negative 10 divided by negative 2 is equal to positive 5 so yung value ng z is we'll plug in it to uh, our fifth equation which is 6y minus 2z equals negative 8 6y substitute natin 5y over 2 that's 5 equals negative 8 copy 6y negative 2 times 5y is equal to negative 10y divided by 2 is equal to negative 5y negative 2 times 5 is equal to negative 10 kapihin lang natin then we will Add both side by the inverse of our constant term which is negative 10 and it will turn to positive 10. So we will add both side by positive 10. Bring down. Oh, we can combine 6y minus 5y. Then it will turn to y. Cancel natin to. Negative y plus 10 is equal to 2. So, the constant value or the equivalent of y variable natin is positive 2. Since nakuha na natin yung unang isang variable natin, ang gagawin natin, we will substitute the value of y to equation 4 or equation 5. So, mamimili lang tayo kung saan dyan yung gagamit, gagamitin natin para ma-substitute natin yung um, y value natin. So, we will choose um, fifth equation which is 6y minus 2z equals negative 8 6, then substitute 2 2z equals negative 8 6 times 2 is equal to 12 negative 8 
we then we will um, subtract or add rather we will add both side by the inverse of negative a uh, positive 12 which is negative 12 so from positive 12 to negative 12 cancel natin to leaving us with 2z equals so negative 8 minus negative 12 uh, minus 12 rather is equal to negative 20 so we will divide divide both side by negative 2 negative 2 cancel natin to so cancel natin sign cancel natin yung 2 ito yung 2 1 1 so magiging 10 na lang sya leaving us with z equals to 10 so this would be the a value of our z variable then hahanapin naman natin yung pangatlo nating variable which is um, x so ang gagawin natin mamimili lang tayo ng mamimili tayo pili tayo ng isang equation from our given equation which is equation 1 equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 so pipili lang tayo dyan kahit saan so I'll choose equation 3 kasi nga um, list yung coefficient niya compared to the rest equation at alam natin pag mas maliit na number mas maliit, madaling i-compute so we'll just simply copy x minus y plus z equals 4 substitute the value of y which is which is 2 then the value of z which is 10 equals 4 combine negative 2 plus 10 is equal to positive 8 negative 4 then uh, we will add both side by the inverse of our constant term on the left side which is positive 10 then it will turn to negative 8 so add both side by negative 8 then bring down x this will turn to 0 um, 4 minus 8 is equal to negative 4 so the value of x is negative 4 so yung solution set na hinahanap natin for x y and z is equal to negative 4 positive 2 and positive 10 so to ensure if um, negative 4, positive 2, and positive 10 is the solution set of this given equation. Pipili ulit tayo from there. Then, isusubstitute natin ang mga value na to to check if this one is correct. So, pag nagbalance yung equation na gagamitin natin, meaning to say that negative 4, positive 2, and positive 10 would be the solution set of this given equation. So, pipili ulit tayo. So, gamit, gamitin natin yung equation 4, which equation 3 rather, or equation 2. 4x plus 2y plus 2z is equal to 8. So, 4x plus 2y plus 2z equals 8. Then, substitute x, negative 4, plus 2, value of y is equal to 2 plus 2, value ng z natin is 10 simplify natin 4 times negative 4 is equal to 16 2 times 2 is equal to 4 negative 16 rather tama ba? Yeah. 2 times 10 is equal to 20 negative 8 so negative 16 minus 4 is equal to negative 12 plus 20. Negative 12 plus 20 is equal to 8. Equals to 8 din. So, dahil equal sila, 
Meaning to say that negative 4, 2 and 10 as equi um, value of x, y, and z is the solution set of a given equation.